The star bug Juju, to avoid confusion with the character from the movie, is without a doubt a massive grand body. In the event that we were to exchange bug juice, it would connect the past with the sun, the orbit of Mars, and even the space rock belt. What's even more concerning is that the James Webb Telescope has produced a distressing new revelation. Neil deGrasse Tyson has a few words on the subject. Despite the fact that it is close to 700 light-years away from us, Bug Juju is the closest star to our planetary system that experts anticipate will ultimately explode in a cosmic event. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a well-known astrophysicist, has spoken out about Bug Juju, pointing out its mind-boggling size. In addition, its stunning red-orange color makes it one of the most unmistakable stars in the night sky. He says that it is the closest star to the sun that has a high probability of ending in a cosmic explosion. Like any star, Bug Juju will ultimately run out of fuel in its core. As it starts changing, it will grow so extraordinarily that it will overpower the orbits of Mercury and Venus and come incredibly close to Earth. Imagine looking at the sky during twilight and seeing a portion of the sky illuminated by Bug Juju. Bug Juju is known for its brightness variations over time. At its peak, Betelgeuse can shine incredibly brightly, almost matching the most dazzling stars above. Speculations have been circulating about Bug Juju experiencing a cosmic explosion, indicating a potentially frightful event for observers on Earth. However, this claim may not happen anytime soon. It's essential to understand that a star's brightness can fluctuate significantly. Comparing Bug Juju to stars like Rigel and Betelgeuse further highlights this point. While Rigel and Betelgeuse sometimes appear similarly bright, their luminosities can vary significantly. There is a strong desire to monitor this extraordinary star. Regardless, discussions about a possible explosion lead researchers to continue observing Betelgeuse's behavior. They aim to understand its changes and differentiate any significant alterations that could signal an impending cosmic event. The speculation about Bug Juju exploding has gained attention due to the star's size and significance in the night sky. However, astronomers and astrophysicists remind us that observing such cosmic events is complex. While Betelgeuse's recent dimming has garnered attention, it's crucial to remember that stars, including Betelgeuse, undergo natural cycles of variation. Specialists continue to observe and study Bug Juju using advanced astronomical instruments, including the James Webb Space Telescope. This cutting-edge telescope has enhanced our ability to study distant celestial bodies. Its observations of galaxies and stars like Betelgeuse provide significant insights into stellar behavior and potential changes. The process of a star reaching the end of its life and culminating in a cosmic explosion is a complex event. While Betelgeuse has raised questions about a potential explosion, scientists approach such possibilities with caution. Learning more about the life cycle of stars, their behaviors, and their ultimate destinies presents valuable opportunities for scientific discovery. Bug Juju's brightness variations result from various factors, including its size, temperature, and distance from Earth. These changes are part of the natural cycles of stars. Over a period of slightly more than five years, Betelgeuse has experienced significant fluctuations, presenting captivating challenges and driving scientific curiosity. Aside from Bug Juju, this striking star is known by alternate names such as Belus, BGE, and Betel, reflecting variations in naming across different cultures. It's fascinating how a single celestial body can have unique names and spellings, each originating from historical and linguistic contexts. The name Scarab Guju can be traced back to the Arabic language. Scientists often debate the most appropriate pronunciation and spelling for this name, with Betelgeuse being the most widely accepted in scientific use. Found in the Orion constellation, Betelgeuse shines as a red supergiant star, captivating observers from its location approximately 642.5 light-years from Earth. Its great distance contributes to its status as one of the most extensively studied and intriguing celestial objects visible in the night sky. Our data on Bug Juju's distance comes from various sources, including the Hipparcos Astrometric Satellite. This advanced instrument has provided fundamental insights into the measurement of stellar distances. However, discrepancies sometimes arise when determining the exact distance of celestial bodies. While the Hipparcos satellite estimates Betelgeuse to be around 430 light-years away, other sources suggest a distance closer to 642.5 light-years. These differences highlight the complexity and challenges of accurately measuring astronomical distances. 
studying the vast universe requires grappling with the immense distances between celestial objects. Scarab Guju, with its fascinating variability and immense size, offers a compelling case study for cosmologists and astrophysicists. Its unique attributes and observable behavior contribute significantly to our understanding of stellar evolution and the broader cosmos. The fluctuations in Bug Juju's brightness over time have prompted further investigation. The intriguing nature of this red supergiant presents an exceptional opportunity to understand the life cycles of massive stars and the complexities of their behavior. Astrophysicists and cosmologists have employed various tools and strategies to monitor Betelgeuse, attempting to unravel the underlying causes of its variability and any potential implications for its future evolution. This period of change has sparked increased interest in the star, leading to extensive research and discussions within the scientific community. While speculations about a potential cosmic explosion event persist, Betelgeuse's ongoing dimming and subsequent brightening raise more questions than answers. It is crucial to exercise caution when making predictions, as normal variations in a star's brightness are part of its natural cycle and do not necessarily indicate an imminent explosion. The intricate process of studying celestial bodies requires considering multiple factors, including size, temperature, distance, and intrinsic properties. Betelgeuse remains a significant astronomical object, offering valuable insights into the behavior and life cycles of massive stars. Continued observations and new technological advancements help deepen our understanding of this mysterious and captivating celestial giant. Scarab Guju, also known as Alpha Orionis, stands out as one of the most striking and mesmerizing stars in the Orion constellation. Its dramatic variations in apparent brightness, ranging from zero to six magnitudes, classify it as a variable star. Despite the fact that Rigel is also referred to as Alpha Orionis, Bug Juju's fluctuations sometimes make it appear brighter than it actually is. Typically, the designations Alpha Orionis and Betelgeuse are used to refer to this extraordinary celestial body. Betelgeuse has long fascinated astronomers due to its unpredictable brightness fluctuations. While its dimming episodes have sparked speculation about an imminent supernova, Scientists emphasize that such events occur on astronomical timescales, which means Betelgeuse could still shine for thousands or even millions of years before exploding. The study of variable stars like Betelgeuse is crucial for understanding stellar evolution. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life cycle, but predicting exactly when it will go supernova remains a challenge. When it does explode, it will briefly become one of the brightest objects in the night sky, even visible during the day. Recent observations suggest that the star's dimming events could be attributed to massive ejections of stellar material. In 2019, Betelgeuse experienced a historic dimming, which astronomers believe was caused by a large cloud of dust obscuring part of its surface. This event led to renewed interest in monitoring the star's activity using advanced telescopes, including the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope. Despite the uncertainty surrounding its fate, Betelgeuse continues to be a subject of intense study. Scientists hope that by closely observing its changes, they can gain a better understanding of the life cycles of massive stars and the conditions leading up to supernova explosions. If Betelgeuse were to explode, it would release an immense amount of energy, producing a brilliant flash of light followed by a gradual fading over several months. However, because it is located over 600 light-years away, the explosion would pose no threat to Earth. Instead, it would provide a unique opportunity for scientists to study a supernova in real time, something that has not been observed in our galaxy in centuries. Astronomers will continue monitoring Betelgeuse closely, using state-of-the-art technology to track any further fluctuations in brightness. While the exact timeline of its demise remains uncertain, one thing is clear. Betelgeuse's eventual explosion will be one of the most spectacular cosmic events ever witnessed by humanity. Until that day arrives, Betelgeuse will remain a celestial beacon in the Orion constellation, a star that has captivated scientists and stargazers alike for generations. Beta Orionis was assigned to Bug Guju and Riel, respectively, in Jan Bayer's Uranometria, published in 1603. This arrangement helped cosmologists and stargazers distinguish between stars in the Orion constellation. Similar to many other stars, Bug Guju exists as a lone star, not part of a greater heavenly group. It resides in a region without star-forming activity. Its classification as a runaway star further distinguishes it, reflecting its trajectory and distance traveled through space. This titanic celestial object boasts a radius multiple times larger than the Sun and a mass significantly greater. 
with a magnificent radiance of approximately 126,000 suns, Bug Guju's splendor remains significant, even at a distance of 548 light years from Earth. Notwithstanding its vast distance, Bug Guju presents an interesting contrast to our Sun. The star's surface temperature, around 3,600 Kelvin, is strikingly cooler than the Sun's 5,778 Kelvin. Regardless of its colossal size, this temperature discrepancy contributes to its distinct red supergiant appearance and significantly influences its brightness and observable characteristics. In terms of age, Bug Guju, at around 10 million years old, is quite young compared to our 4.6 billion year old Sunday. Despite its relative youth in cosmic terms, Betelgeuse has already undergone stellar evolution, reaching a stage where it displays the characteristics of a maturing red supergiant. Given its massive size and stage in the stellar life cycle, hypotheses about Betelgeuse potentially ending its life in a supernova explosion have arisen. If such an event were to occur within a couple hundred light years from Earth, it would undoubtedly have significant repercussions. The plausibility of Betelgeuse going supernova has garnered attention due to the potential impact on our planet. However, scientists stress the need for caution in anticipating such massive phenomena. While Betelgeuse's physical characteristics and behavior make it an intriguing subject for study, the specifics of a potential supernova and its ramifications for Earth remain uncertain. Understanding the life cycle and behavior of stars like Betelgeuse helps astronomers comprehend the universe's cosmic cycles. Observations of this supermassive red star continue to enhance our insight into stellar evolution and the grand cosmic events shaping our universe. Despite all the hype about Betelgeuse exploding, the star has yet to undergo such an event. Instead, it has been fluctuating in brightness in a pattern suggesting it is simply going through a phase. While it is possible that Betelgeuse may ultimately detonate, it does not seem likely to happen anytime soon. Betelgeuse's location in the Orion constellation, particularly at the right shoulder of the hunter, makes it a prominent and easily identifiable feature in the night sky. Its unmistakable red hue further enhances its visibility. Positioned strategically for observation, Betelgeuse is especially noticeable at the beginning of each year, making it a popular focus for both astronomers and skywatchers. To unravel the mysteries of Betelgeuse's behavior, researchers have extensively analyzed data from various sources, including NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories. These observations have provided critical insights into the star's recent activities. Findings suggest that Betelgeuse underwent a massive surface mass ejection in 2009, losing a significant portion of its visible surface. This phenomenon is noteworthy, as such a peculiar event has never been observed in a star of Betelgeuse's size and brightness before. Certainly, Betelgeuse, also known as Bug Juju, remains one of the most fascinating red supergiant stars in the Orion constellation. Its apparent brightness can vary significantly, making it one of the most easily recognizable stars in the night sky. While often confused with characters from popular culture, Betelgeuse's astronomical significance is profound. Located approximately 700 light-years away, it is classified as the closest star likely to end its life in a dramatic supernova explosion. Renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has noted its enormous size and distinctive red-orange hue, which contribute to its high visibility. The star's size is staggering, roughly 1,000 times larger than the sun, with an ability to shine as brightly as 126,000 suns at its peak. Over the years, Betelgeuse has undergone significant brightness variations, which can even be observed by amateur astronomers. It is classified as a variable star, with its brightness fluctuating between 0 and 6 magnitudes. This variability has sparked interest in understanding its life cycle and behavior, especially as it approaches the final stages of stellar evolution. Advanced telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope have been used to study Betelgeuse in detail. These observations have revealed significant changes, including the massive surface mass ejection in 2009, which led to the loss of a substantial portion of its visible surface. Despite its potential to erupt into a supernova, scientists caution against jumping to conclusions. The cyclical nature of stellar behavior suggests that fluctuations in brightness do not necessarily indicate an impending explosion. Instead, Betelgeuse may simply be experiencing one of its natural life cycle phases. Interestingly, Betelgeuse has had various names across different cultures, reflecting its historical significance in astronomy. The name Betelgeuse is derived from the Arabic Ibt al-Jauza, referring to the giant's shoulder. 
This historical naming tradition showcases how different civilizations have documented celestial bodies over centuries. Despite being relatively young, around 10 million years old, compared to our 4.6 billion year old sun, Betelgeuse has already undergone significant stellar evolution. It resides in a region of space devoid of star formation and is classified as a runaway star due to its trajectory. With a temperature of approximately 3,600 Kelvin, Betelgeuse is cooler than the sun's 5,778 Kelvin, contributing to its distinctive red appearance. This temperature difference plays a crucial role in understanding its stellar evolution, particularly as it expands and consumes its nuclear fuel. Astronomers continue to closely monitor Betelgeuse to gain a deeper understanding of its life cycle and the implications of its eventual demise. While its variability in size and brightness presents intriguing questions, it also reminds us of the complexities of stellar behavior and the need for caution when interpreting cosmic events. The ongoing study of Betelgeuse not only enhances our knowledge of this particular star, but also contributes to a broader understanding of the life cycles of massive stars throughout the universe.